Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share with you the health benefits and the nutritional value of bananas, aka platanos in Spanish or Espanol. And the cool thing about bananas is that when I lived in Costa Rica, uh, bananas were six cents a piece there. So you can just go to the market, walk down the road and get 10 bananas for 60 cents. Uh, which is really cool because bananas are obviously a fruit, they're nutritionally beneficial, uh, and uh, it's cool to be able to get healthy food that cheap that um, you know, you're not overpaying a ridiculous amount of money for kale or something, you know, and it's just it's cheap nutrition, which is kind of nice. So the cool thing with, uh, about bananas is that it's beneficial for your metabolic health, your metabo metabolism and metabolic processes, as well as your overall digestive health as well as uh, um, energy levels. It's good for boosting energy levels. So first things first, bananas are rich in vitamin B6, which B6 helps to convert fat and protein into uh, sources of energy. So the banana itself doesn't have fat or proteins in it really, it's just uh, vitamins and, and uh, a few different minerals and antioxidants and fruit sugar and fiber. But if you have proteins and healthy fat sources in your diet, which I'm sure you do, and if you don't, I highly recommend you do, whether it's through nuts and seeds or organic free-range pastured eggs or meat, whatever it may be, uh, the B6, vitamin B6 helps to convert that fat and protein into usable convertible energy, converts that into energy. So that vitamin B6 is beneficial for energy. It also contains biotin, which biotin is a is also a B vitamin that is really beneficial for your hair, skin, and nails. You'll see a lot of different shampoos and, and conditioners and just beauty products in general contain biotin for its beautifying effects on the body overall. It also contains manganese, which manganese is a mineral that is beneficial for connective tissue, uh, be it ligaments, joints, tendons, uh, anything that connects your body to your body, if that makes sense. So it helps your structural integrity, it helps keep the strength of your joints, whether it be your elbows, your knees, or you know whatever it may be, so that you have that strength and that structural integrity as you age, which is very important because as you age, your structural integrity and structural strength of your bone, bones, joints, ligaments, and tendons uh, are more beneficial, it's more beneficial to have that as time goes on because as you age and those kind of deteriorate, uh, once, once those break down, that's when aging speeds up. So to keep that resilience is very, very important. So it also contains mag manganese, which is beneficial for that as well. It also contains copper, which copper is a mineral uh, that is, uh, basically oxidizes food molecules uh, and shrinks them. So a food molecule, say it's like this big, uh, copper oxidizes it, so it uses oxygen, copper pairs with oxygen, uh, to shrink the food molecule to a smaller form so that your body can, can properly use, absorb, and assimilate that food. So it also contains copper, which does that. It's also uh, a great source of vitamin C, which obviously vitamin C is great for boosting your immune system. Vitamin C is great for repairing the body, uh, hair, skin, nails, uh, once again, joints, ligaments, tendons, anything like that. Uh, so it's got vitamin C in it as well. And beyond that, it also has potassium in it, which potassium is a beneficial mineral for your heart health and cardiovascular health. It helps to regulate heart health and cardiovascular health, as well as uh, potassium also helps to regulate blood sugar levels. So uh, eating a banana, which has sugar in it, it kind of makes sense that it has potassium in it to kind of help that uh, regulatory process. And beyond that, it also contains soluble fiber, meaning that it's fiber uh, that, that your digestive system breaks down in water, uh, and, it, and it's soluble fiber, it slows the, uh, the digestive process overall. So, um, excuse me, did I say that right? I don't even know. I, it contains fiber, and the, t <laughs> the fiber within the banana is gonna slow your digestive process. And I forget off the top of my head if it's soluble or I'm soluble. I'm pretty sure it's actually uh, soluble fiber, but I'm not 100% sure. One of them dissolves in water, one of them doesn't. But either way, it's got fiber in it, which is beneficial for your digestive system. And the fiber within this uh, helps to slow the digestive process so that it can properly use the, the sugar content within the banana uh, so that it doesn't spike your blood sugar levels too high. So I believe that's why it's so rich in, in that fiber is so that it can properly absorb that sugar. And one quick note on this, you know, bananas are great. Fruit is great overall. But it is important to understand that 
you know, our whole body isn't powered off of one category of food. So we have a lot of people out there in today's world who are like, you know, it's all about fruits. And some people are like, no, it's not about that. It's all about vegetables. Some people are like, no, it's all about, you know, uh, eating a high fat diet. No. And then you have like the crazy Atkins, like all protein. None of that makes any sense whatsoever. I mean, really think about that for a minute. It makes no sense. Uh, we need healthy fats, we need proteins, we need carbs, we need healthy sugars, we need healthy fats, we need, we need vegetables, we need minerals, we need antioxidants, we need phytonutrients, we need all these different things, carotenoids, and all these different things in our diet, and to be singular in your focus on one category of food, I think can be detrimental to your, to your health long term, even if it is a healthy food category, so keep that in mind. Uh, bananas are great, they're a great cheap source of uh, nutrition, once again, just to give a quick overview. Fiber, vitamin C, copper, manganese, vitamin B6, biotin, and uh, so it's basically got B vitamins, vitamin C, manganese, copper, fiber, um, which, like I said, it's good for boosting your energy levels, uh, increasing, your, uh, basically balancing your metabolism, metabolic processes, as well as uh, the fiber, which is good for your digestive system as well. So it's great for digestive health, uh, connective tissue, hair, skin, and nails, and cardiovascular health because of the potassium in it as well, and blood, blood sugar uh, regulation as well. Uh, so get more bananas in your diet. Like I said, they're cheap. If you live in a third, you know, Costa Rica or Central or South America or the islands, six cents a piece. Uh, but you know, still in America, five of them is like a buck seventy, and you know that's organic. So um, get more bananas in your diet. One cool thing about them too, just to keep in mind, is that foods that typically have appeal, uh, you don't. Organic is always better regardless, but if it has a peel uh, and there are no organic bananas at your local store, the peeled, the fruits and vegetables with a peel on them, uh, and it's mostly fruits, so for example, avocado or banana, that peel is better. Uh, it's kind of a barrier for protecting from the pesticides and things that they use. So it is safer to get them uh, non-organic if you don't have the budget or isn't available at your grocery store or whatever that case may be. So get more bananas in your diet. This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Make sure to subscribe to this uh, channel below to learn more about healthy food choices and options, nutrition, detoxification, uh, green living, spirituality, uh, healthy mind, healthy body, healthy spirit, all that kind of stuff. Like this video if you learned something, leave your comments below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please share this video, share this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye.